Okay, hello guys, welcome back to today's video. We're going to be tackling the best Mangekyo Sharingan in Project Bakke 2. So there are a couple of Mangekyo Sharingans in, couple in Project Bakke 2. There's actually three Mangekyo Sharingans in Project Bakke 2. And today we're going to be talking about which of those three Mangekyo Sharingans are the best ones. And which of those are the ones that if you get it, you should just spin it off. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on with the topic of this video. So the three Mangekyo Sharingans are Shisui, Itachi, and Obito. And we're going to be tackling them right now. So yeah, it's technically this one right here is the, the Obito moves. showcase. So yeah, use the moves, Obito. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna first um showcase Obito. Yeah, and yeah, Obito was the first one showcased. Use the moves. So as you guys can see right dimension. here, Obito yeah, is, is definitely and very. Is Obito is definitely very overpowered. Um, as you guys can see in this video, um, the, you could go into this dimension and stay there for infinitely as long as you want to. And just not come back until you're fully healed because you can heal in the Kamui dimension. And there is no cooldown to how long you could stay in the Kamui dimension. So you could stay in that dimension for about as long as you want to. If you're getting gangbanged by like five or six people, you could go to the Kamui dimension and they will never be able to chase you. And you could just heal there, come back, and smack some people again. So that's just how overpowered this um Sharingan is. I was about to say Bloodline, but this Sharingan. It's definitely very overpowered because that reason alone you can go into the combi dimension and just literally never come back and that's not even it's all of its moves it also has another move which i'll show right here i think um it's all show it right here and i was really surprised that you could stay in there infinitely because um staying in there infinitely is definitely a very overpowered thing so here i'm gonna shut up and show you guys the second move i think this is gonna be intangibility and he's basically intangible for a couple seconds and he can hit me so this is a very overpowered move so that move right there is intangibility where you literally just go intangible you can't hit them but they can hit you so if you use this you're literally invincible if you're very good with obito you're gonna be almost invincible so yeah i think it's very safe to say that obito is definitely the best one of all the three sharing guns but we are still gonna discuss all the other two sharing guns but yeah this one right here is the best right now and the other sharing gun that we're going to be discussing apart from um obito will be shisui i actually used shisui earlier on in this um versus in this video that you're seeing in the screen right now i used shisui early on in this video i'm just gonna uh, pull up a file or a recording from my last youtube video to show guys what shisui looks like sweet time shisui showcase so for shisui's first move so Shisui's showcase or Shisui right here. What the heck? No, it's glitch. So, so yeah, Shisui can be glitchy. Um, all, all the Mangekyo Sharing guns can be glitchy. I think this is already a known fact. A lot of other stuff in Project Baki 2 are glitchy. And let's just wait for the cooldown right here. There you go. There Basically, what They're this does it. is it just um summons a lot of clones to fight for you. So yeah, that's the Shisui showcase. It just summons a lot of clones for you. These these clones do no damage. They uh, yeah, he said right here, clones do, don't do damage. So these clones are absolute trash. They just don't do damage. And then um the other move is Koto Amatsukami, and this one's even worse trash than the last one because you might as well not just use it. Watch this, guys. I'm gonna use Koto Amatsukami right now, and look at that. It didn't even land. So it didn't even land. Kota Matsukami or the last move of Shisui is supposed to be one of the most overpowered moves in all of Naruto because it's a very powerful Jinjutsu. It's probably second only to the Infinite Chukayomi. That's how powerful Kota Matsukami is. But unfortunately, Project Baki to end most games make Shisui trash. So yeah, uh, that's very bad. So let's move on to the next thing that we're gonna next and last Sharing that we're that we're gonna showcase, which is going to be Itachi. And I know a lot of you are excited for this one. So before we go on to the um Sharingan or no, no not to the Shar oh, yeah to the Itachi Sharingan showcase. Before we go on to the Itachi Sharingan showcase, I just wanted to thank you guys for all the support that you've been showing, and to every support to the support that you've been showing the Discord and to all my other videos. I just want to say thank you guys for everything, and yeah, um if you guys are not subscribed yet, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this one i plan on making more videos on different stuff yeah as you guys probably already know project baki 2 is in a pretty bad state right now project baki 2 has like 300 players even after a big update so yeah i'm planning on making a video on project baki 2 as well about that topic 
and planning on making videos on different games as well so don't forget to like and subscribe guys and if you guys are not in the discord yet don't forget to join the discord there will be a lot of cool stuff going on there so thank you guys for watching peace out and see you guys in the itachi showcase this right here guys is the itachi showcase and um yeah the first move right here i think is the um yeah the first move is amaterasu so oh wait 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 Right here. No, right here. Right here. Right here. There you go. So the first move is Amaterasu or Black Flames. And what this does is basically just um damages you with flames. So um all of Itachi's moves damage Itachi the user. So if I'm being honest with you, Itachi is actually very, very overpowered. It might be more overpowered than Obito. As you guys can see, he told he he says right here that um the cooldown for black flames is so low that it can spam that you can spam it but the only problem is using black flames hurt you so i think that's a very big drawback since it makes it so that you practically can't even use the mode anymore or the sharing gun anymore because um it's more like a last resort but even as a last resort it's still i wouldn't recommend it itachi is very cool but itachi is just not that good because um it can damage you and as you guys can see right here, he, he uses, he puts me in a genjutsu and it damages him just about as much as he damaged me. As you guys can see right there, it damaged him quite a lot. So, yeah, that's pretty bad. So, Itachi is definitely very cool. It has a very good genjutsu stun. It has a very good um, move, a very good black flames move, as you guys can see right here. But the only problem is, it's just... Gonna, it's gonna damage the player using it as well so if you want to use this and you're like very low if you use this too much you die and lose the fight so i think there's just way better options which is why i'm gonna put it so that if you guys want to get something good i think the best sharing gun that you guys can get right now is definitely going to be obito second is itachi the reason why obito is going to be the best is because it's just good for escaping for pvp in general as well and yeah, Obito is just much better than Itachi right now. And Shisui is just the worst. If you get Shisui, just spin it. So yeah, I think that's going to be it, guys, for um this video. This video of me carving the Mangekyo Sharingan. So yeah. Peace. So yeah, I think that about concludes it for this video, guys. Um, I already gave you guys my ranking. And my ranking basically goes as follows. Shisui, the absolute worst. Trash. Dog crap. Itachi, very good very very good potentially the best as well it depends on the situation but itachi is gonna be at second place because it damages you in 1v1 situations i think itachi will be very useful because you can stun the enemy for a very crazy long time and you could probably end them right then and there itachi will be very useful with gojo if you stun them and you use like um the you use the x move the hollow purple move with gojo you can probably one shot a lot of people with that but I think it's just not enough for me to put it in top 1. And the top 1 will be Obito because you can spam um, intangibility. You can also go to your dimension and just run away from everybody. So Obito top 1, Itachi top 2, Shisui top 3. If you get Shisui, just spin it. Shisui is just crap. So bad. So yeah, that, that about concludes it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And yeah, join the Discord down below. Like and subscribe. Peace out, everybody.